tonight with the context of having that scoreless night a couple nights ago. Um, just anything that, that you did to kind of help yourself bounce back? Uh, I wouldn't say I didn't do anything differently. Um, last game was a rough game. My teammates knew it. Um, they just did their best job. I, I'll give it all to them because they did the best job and, you know, keeeping me confident, keep me up through the practice days and uh, preparing, preparing for this game and all that. So my mindset wasn't any different going into this game than it was uh, going to the Creighton game. Does any, anybody say anything to you, um, either on the coaching staff or one of your teammates or anything? Nope, they didn't say anything. Um, they just said, you know, it's, it's a new day, new opportunities. And, you know, that's how I think. And that's what my mind, uh, mindset is. Hey, Ouch, when it comes to your ability to score the ball, do you think you've developed more coming into this year as an outside scorer or an inside scorer? I would say more of an outside scorer. Um, that's something I'm still working on, uh, just being an inside presence, um, getting to the paint, finishing at the rim, really. Uh, some I'm really working on or, you know, just, just trying to be better at. But uh, outside presence, I think this year's, I mean, just this came naturally. So, Hey, Ochai, it looked like you guys wanted a night off the way you started that game, 17 nothing run, and then kind of cruise from there, maybe get the bench some extra minutes. Was that at all a focus or was it just how the, how the game unfolded and things went well? It was uh, just how the game unfolded, really. We just started off hot. Um, from there on, we just we just, you know, Kept putting our foot down on the gas, and uh, we were just moving the ball, finding good looks, uh, getting our shots, and we were just playing comfortably. How helpful for this team to, to get not only you starters that have been playing big minutes a little rest, but also to extend some minutes for your bench guys? How, how helpful is that overall? Uh, it's great. Um, this is our first – the first time this year that we've had a true um, – where we get to, you know, get the other guys involved and uh, play, get them some minutes and all that. So it was good watching them play, uh, work the ball together and see different squads in there. But um, just going to the conference, it was good to get there, there get them in rhythm. Ochai, what did you see out of uh, Mitch and David tonight and uh, what made them so effective? Just, you know, their inside presence. Um, Mitch was great offensively, just blocking shots, being, being the energy guy he is. And, you know, the guy we, got, the guy we all know him as. Um, and David was solid too, but Mitch, Mitch was great today. How much faith do you guys, you guards, have um, in the in the front court players? Well, I mean, we we trust them. Um, just you know, playing four out of uh, four four round one. Um, that's that's where our offense, I think, you know, is is at and where we where we uh, pride ourselves on. But you know, having an in, inside presence going to the conference, is something we we're gonna need. Hey, Ochai, Marcus had eight assists tonight and no turnovers. Would you say that his role is better suited as, suited as more of a distributor in this offense? Yeah, I, I would agree. I would agree with that. Um, just being a true more a true point guard, um, finding, finding others. Um, and I think we were just doing a good job of just moving the ball, and he was finding us uh, in the right spots and, and uh, you know, playing for us too. When Mitch has a game like that, can you tell he's really having fun? <laughs> yes, I, I can tell. Anytime he's out there on the court, he's always having fun. So it doesn't matter how he's playing. He's, he's always uh, bringing that energy and bringing that positive, that positive smile in. How much toughness did Marcus show fighting through that, that illness over the last couple of weeks? And do you think he's kind of come out on the other side of that? Yeah, yeah, he's he's definitely been, uh, definitely been feeling better from that. But you know, going through that early on, early in the season, uh, it was kind of a tough battle for our team and for him. But he pulled through, and that was that was good. Ochai Dewan stepped in in the in the second half. Uh, I think you guys were up thirty one, and he stepped in transition, took that charge. You know, you've been around a while, but that's a guy playing his first year of college basketball. What kind of message is that to the rest of the team? And and is that something you guys focus on all the time? Don't worry about the score, just make the right play? Yeah, yeah, really, you know, I mean, just how the game's going. Um, you know, when those guys got in, got those minutes and got, got into rhythm, uh, you know, just, just playing comfortably is where, where we want them at and where, they, where we want them and, you know, going to the starting lineup or in that rotation and all that once we get into conference play. So just getting them comfortable, um, playing hard every second that you're in the game is, you know, something that we pride ourselves against. So. You think he gets a pass there if he doesn't take that charge? I mean, you're up 31 or, or would the coaches <laughs> let him hear it on film? Uh, probably, probably hear it on film, maybe, but, uh, you know, he, he's always that person to take the charges. That's, that's that guy. Yeah. 
Coach, it seems like David McCormick is getting closer to, to figuring it out. He had a good half uh, against Creighton and then today a pretty solid game. I guess, what do you see from that? Do you think he's close to, to maybe flipping a switch or does he still have a ways to go there? No, I think I think he's – he's. I mean, I don't think he's really been – that bad but you know he's he's been he's been doing great um you know just feeling more comfortable um down there in the post and he's trusting us to to move around him and to find him in those open spots and his ankles to to score easier for him so when did you guys find out that the game's off sunday uh we found out right before the game okay it's yeah. bad thing good thing i mean how, how do you spin that how do you look at that uh one of the first cancellations that we have this season uh we I mean, it's it's kind of unweird. We don't know what's going to happen for the rest of the season going forward, but uh, that's that's a part of it, um, part of uh, you know what's going on now. Sure. All right, Ochai, thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. You. Thanks, Ochai.